while in today's competitive marketplace, designing a viable strategy is only the first challenge. And the second, the more demanding task, is actually implementing that strategy. That's right. However, according to our next guest, as much as 90% of the process fades out along the way or simply fails to deliver, only 10% succeed. So what are companies doing wrong? Well, let's ask our guest this morning, Robin Speculin, a business consultant specializing in making strategies come alive. That's good right. morning. Hello, good morning, and thanks for coming by. What a great way to start an innovation uh, conversation. There are five birds. You start out your book by saying there are five birds on a fence. How many birds are left, right? And three decide to leave. How many That's birds it. are left? Yes. So we ask Stephen. And I'm going to say two because I'm, you know... <laughs> Which is Most normally what we hear. And we hear zero, two, five, a different range. Uh -huh. But what happens is five birds sit on a fence, three decide to leave. How many are left? Five. Why? They discuss it, they have a conference call, they have a regional meeting, but they haven't yet taken the action that's going to drive it forward. Bricks to bridges, what we start to talk about is what it takes to make your strategy come alive. And for that to happen, organizations have to realize what we've been doing in the past hasn't worked. Mm. because 9 out of 10 fail. And what we need to change is organizations now need to realize there's a new way in which they can implement it. You know, companies spend so much money on coming up yeah. with these very multi-million dollar mm. strategies, and yet why do they fail to deliver? Oh, there, there are so many different reasons. One of the things that the organizations have to realize, what does strategy mean to the people in the business? It means two words, more work. At the end of the day, when the leaders come back with this wonderful new strategy and everybody's hearing about it, what does it translate to, to the staff? Simply more work. Give you an example. It's like many of us go to get healthy or to get, you know, to lose weight. And we do all this planning and we prepare everything and we read the new books and we maybe join a membership. But how many of us succeed? Mm -hmm. Very few of us. It's the same for strategy. Very few succeed. And we put in all this effort to start trying and try new things, but we never get the results. And to staff, that's how they feel. Whether we're doing something like technology or we're implementing a new uh, software or whether it's for marketing, the staff just feel it's tough. But you see, for many staff, a lot of times, their CEOs come back with these grandeur visions and they'll say, but I don't know what that means. I can't relate to it, you see. And then, then they get delegated work, which they say, well, I don't really know what to do. And therefore, the buck stops there. Is that what happens more often than not? More often than not, you're absolutely right. And what needs to change is we have to realize we have to start doing something different. And what we need to do differently is to use a framework. Hmm. And the framework that we've put together is something called the implementation compass. And the compass explains to people how to implement the strategy so you're not left on your own just to, to try and roll it out, but you're given the best practices, you're given what works from other organizations from those one in ten who succeed. And it guides you through the implementation maze. Can you give us an example of mm. one of these? You know? sure. you know, on the compass, there are eight different areas. We talk about who does the work, which I've mentioned, the people. We look at things like the process, the communications, it's more than just the mugs and the t-shirt. You've got to go beyond that and start to communicate it in a way that gets people excited about the strategy so they understand not only what it is, but also what they need to do. So in the different eight areas, there are many things they can address. Mm. And uh, in your study, you also mentioned that uh, one of the problems is that companies do not have the right uh, recognition system if one employee does well. They don't mm -hmm. quite fully recognize the, that exemplary uh, employee and yeah, how and what are some problems resulting from that? One of the challenges organizations need to do is that when people start taking the right action, we have to recognize who they are. What we call them in the book, Bricks to Bridges, is mavericks. Mm. The mavericks are the ones who step up to the plate, who want to take the lead, who have realized this is going to work. It's what our customers need. And when they're willing to do it, we need to make sure we support them, we recognize and we encourage them. Make them role models. Let, them, let other people in the organization see what you expect and then recognize those mavericks and give them all the support you can because they're going to drive forward your implementation. But what we've been talking about so far is a fairly top-down approach where we're looking at management to implement and carry out these steps. What if you're an employee and you don't have management that is so enlightened in that sense? What can you do? 
for the staff, their challenges, that they can also become a maverick. And by becoming a maverick, they can set the pace. They can start to be recognized that they are able to put it into place because the leaders are always looking for those who will step up to the plate. So the challenge is to identify what action we need to take and then make sure it's driving through the results. Go ahead. Go I was just going to say, not many. I'm thinking of a more Asian perspective. For mm -hmm. certain Asian companies, the culture is very much a hierarchy. I can imagine in Jap Japanese companies, especially, yeah. where you can't, you can't just go there and say, "Well, what about this?" You know, your boss is going to say, "Well, who asked you?" Mm -hmm. You know. So, in a situation like that, what would you recommend for an employee? Is there something else they could do to sort of try and kickstart that process or get their management enlightened in that sense? Yes, there is. For all of the staff who are working, whether you're working in Singapore, whether you're working in any part of the region, everybody's always looking for people who will get the things done. And in implementation, it's about starting to take action. It was like just the other day, we were, the people were talking about the Clinton conference that was happening. And in the papers, they were talking about no more talk, it's time for action. Mm. That's what we need to focus on in Bricks to Bridges. It's time to start taking the action to implement the strategy. Just because you have a good strategy doesn't mean you're going to be successful. Mm -hmm. For 40 years, we've been practicing change management, and it's ironic, the only thing that hasn't changed is change management itself. Mm, In Bricks point. to Bridges, we say, hey, if 9 out of 10 fail, we have to change the way we do things. Mm, and therefore, point. the staff who are going to do that, we have to realize that they're on the right path. That's and right. we've got so to change the way we don't it works. Have, uh, we don't have, uh, so that we actually have two birds on the fence, right? If three of them decide out of five... Well, they we still haven't have... taken the action, so we've still got five on the fence. <laughs> yes, right. So they, they say they're going to fly, they got to fly. That's, That's the main thing here. Yeah. All right, many thanks for that. Uh, Thank you. We've run out of time. Mm -hmm. Our guest this morning, Mr. Robin Speckelin, the CEO of Bridges Business Consultancy International, which specializes in making strategies come alive. In fact, the Nike term, just do it, is so apt for so many things in life. We've just got to do it.